Welcome to the Fort Hibla ng Lahing Filipino Regional Gallery, featuring Binod Bodan and Pinilian, shared textile traditions among the Cordillera people, at the Cordillera Regional Museum in Kiangan, Ifugao. The exhibition aims to present the traditional as well as the contemporary textiles from different communities in the Cordillera Administrative Region and some parts of Northern Luzon. It is in recognition of the contribution of weavers, tires, and embroiderers in the preservation and transmission of knowledge and skills in textile weaving, dyeing, embroidery, and bead and shell embellishments making. The National Museum of the Philippines Cordillera Regional Museum and Satellite Office is located at the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office Compound in Linda Poblacion, Kiangan, Ifugao. It was inaugurated on March 19, 1984 as Ifugao Museum by Honorable Jaime Laya, then Minister of Education, Culture, and Sports. In 2020, the Binodbodan and Pilian Shared Textile Tradition Among the Cordillera People Exhibition was conceptualized. It is the Fort Hibla Regional Gallery under the Hibla ng Lahing Filipino Program and in partnership with the Office of Senator Lauren Legarda and Save the Ifugao Terraces Movement. The first Hibla Regional Gallery, featuring Abel Iloco at the Ilocos Regional Museum in Vigan City, was launched in 2017. Followed by Habol Panay, the woven artistry of the Visayas at the Western Visayas Regional Museum in Iloilo City in 2019. And Luhul, Landap, Inaul, and Tenun, fabrics of strength and protection among the Bangsamoro people at the Western Southern Mindanao Regional Museum in Samwanga City in 2021. The curatorial team began the preparation by selecting the materials from the National Ethnographic Collection in coordination with our partners. The proposed concept and design, as well as the bidding of the gallery fit out, were approved in 2020. A team from the Exhibition, Editorial, and Media Production Services Division, Facilities Management Division, and Ethnology Division, led by Deputy Director General for Museums, Jarel Legaspi, finalized the exhibition layout and mounting systems from April 4 to 8. The exhibition at the ground floor focuses on the raw materials, weaving implements, techniques, designs, and patterns that are evident in the woven fabrics created by the weavers of the region. The Bayaung, or Pinagpagan ritual blanket that is shared between the different groups in the region, may be found upon entering the gallery. Its designs are incorporated or added through supplementary weft. Behind the Pinagpagan is the Kinutian funerary blanket with designs in Binodbodan technique or resist dyeing. Such technique involves tying the warp with wax threads in order for the strands to resist the coloring material before dyeing and weaving. A blanket made by the Iteg of Abra with Sinan Caballo or horse design are also included in the same section. The weaving implements and equipment section contain samples of back looms from Abra and Ifugao, as well as spinning wheels and thread winder that are used in the processing of cotton threads are on display. Featured in another section are samples of male and female lower garments, upper garments, belts, and girdles. This section shows the similarities and differences of the Cordillera textiles in terms of weaving techniques, form, colors, designs, and embellishments using symbolisms that are distinct and shared in the region. Traditional adornments are often made of glass beads, brass and gold, cut-out shells, animal bone, teeth, tusks, and hair, as well as plant materials such as vines, seeds, and bark. A jewelry and sand exclusively worn by a female Kadangyan were loaned by the Timipao family to the National Museum of the Philippines. Some of the traditional attires were mounted on mannequins, showing the similarities and uniqueness among the region's clothing. The attires of the Gadang, Apayao, 
Ibaloy and Ifugao are being presented as such. A set of Kalinga attire belonging to Honorable Lauren Legarda, a known advocate of art and heritage and sponsor of the Hiblanang Lahing Filipino program since 2010, is also part of the exhibition. The ensemble consists of a kain with bitawit, yellow upper garment with embroidered chevron design, and plastic beads in adongan design serving as buttons. The second floor, which also serves as an activity area, features cotton and bast, the two common raw materials in cordillera weaving. Samples of textiles exhibiting different weaving techniques were loaned to the museum by the Indigenous People's Education through Mr. Marlon Martin, the COO of Save the Ifugao Terraces Movement and co-curator of the exhibition. Weaving and dyeing practices, embroidery, as well as bead and shell jewelry making persist in the region despite the different challenges faced by communities brought by changing times. Awareness campaigns on the significance of transmitting both the tangible and intangible aspects of weaving are conducted across the region. Among these initiatives include partnerships with government agencies and non-government organizations such as the Save the Ifugao Terraces Movement, Indigenous Peoples Education, School of Living Traditions by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, the Department of Education, the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples, Philippine Fiber Industry Development Authority, Department of Trade and Industry, Department of Tourism, the Habi Philippine Textile Council, and various cooperatives. The National Museum of the Philippines, together with the people of the Cordilleras, are committed in protecting national cultural heritage in pursuit of a better understanding of our identity that is uniquely Filipino, dedicating a life's purpose of conveying inherited traditions for the benefit of the present and future generations. Music